There's nothing wrong with wearing pantsuits. It looks good. I think a girl should be wearing a dress, not a pantsuit. What are... It seems more like something we're like We're in the 80s wear. now. Well, it's not like the 90s. You're not even wearing a suit. Guys, you know we're on live, right? Good morning, Miami, and welcome to KT315. My name is Brian Varela. And I'm Crystal Niebla. All right, folks, we have a big story that's just coming in. An influx in Cuban migrants has led to an increase in Miami crime. Now to our correspondent at the Miami Herald. Well, we had more ruthless murders, I guess, with the influx of the Mariel refugees. You know, where Castro flushed his toilets on Miami, and we had some of the most ruthless, terrible criminals in the world. I mean, it would be nice if we could take death row, all our maximum security prisons, and our hospitals for the deranged, criminally insane, and send all those people somewhere to get them off our hands, and that's exactly what Castro did to us. So we saw a f many more motiveless, just ruthless killings, and of course there are many more drug killings now. I think the big cocaine wars between the Cubans and the Colombians have simmered down. They've realized it wasn't good public relations to have gunfights in parking lots in broad daylight. Broader, they look broader there's, than yours. There's shoulder pads in there. Well, there's shoulder flags. You'll just you the news by yourself then. Thank you for joining us at KT315. Thank you uh, once again, America. This is Crystal Nieva. Good night.